We, we will be primarily focused on 3G, but we, we broadly as a group, we're fairly technology agnostic. You know, if there are different ways to provide a mobile service, we will do that. Um, we have not invested in WiMAX in many markets around the world. We, we honestly believe that the wide, uh, the, broad, the wider broadband markets that 3G can offer will be what will survive. But selectively, you know, we'll use other technologies, and um, you know, especially where spectrum is scarce, mm -hmm. uh, we will we will mix and match as, as is appropriate. But um, 3G is what we are most focused upon. For the moment, it's sort of a step at a time. To your question, is we need to actually get the assets into the business mm. to start with, and then, mm. then we know we can start to think about it. But you know, I think the partners to the Indus Towers business, and indeed, actually, is a separate issue we have said with our own operating business that you know an IPO is not something that that we rule out. Um, we probably need more clarity, particularly on some aspects of the overall sort of telecoms regulatory space and the tax case. Um, but having potentially some public ownership of either one or both of those assets is something we have an open mind on. We haven't put a timeline to it, but we have said that we've got an open mind on it. Well, I think there is a balance in running any business between the margin and the growth in the overall share of the market. And we said that this phase we're in at the moment, we want to increase our share of the market. That does involve some in some investment in actually, you know, getting new customers. And particularly when some of the new entrants are still quite new and quite frail, we think it is absolutely right that we continue to be taking share. The we make about 25% margin. Um, for Vodafone Group, we're probably 32%. And um, what we've said quite openly to investors is over a period of time, as we get the scale of the business increase, but really keep a good <coughs> grasp on the cost, that we would be hoping we can get nearer to the 30% mark on the margin, which will then be fairly similar to the group average. We need to have a network which has sufficient quality to do data things to a reasonable standard. So we need to invest in the network. If you get a bad experience on the data network, it's you know it's far worse than getting a bad experience on the voice network. So quality of network number one. And the second one is really about having phones that are both capable and affordable. So in Europe we've had the capable phones, but they tend to be quite expensive. What we need to do particularly here is to make sure that actually we can get the price point down on those significantly so that they are affordable and hence when people have got those in their hands they can then uh, they can then sort of share the data experience.